joined this week. Uh, here's stand-up comedian and radio talk show host Pete Dominic with What the Week. It's been five days since Carl Palladino practically accused Andrew Cuomo of being a Cuomo sexual. Four days since the Obama administration lifted the ban on drilling in the Gulf of Mexico. And three days since the Chilean miners saw the sunlight. And it's been 90 minutes since I dropped my cell phone in the toilet. Buckle up, kids. We're about to tear through all of it. Welcome to What the Week. <laughs> There's a difference between news and noise. I'm Pete Dominic, and I'm not just another pretty face, folks. On this show, we're not interested in celebrity gossip or virtual reality reality shows. Forget Brett Favre, or whatever his name is, and forget dancing with the kind of stars. Are they really stars? I'm interested in the stories and issues that hit home. So I'm taking the cameras to the streets to hear what Americans really think of the news that shaped the week. Time now to catch up on the week that was. Hit it. I don't want them to be brainwashed into thinking that homosexuality is an equally valid or successful option. New York's Republican candidate for governor, Carl Palladino, lashed out against gays. Andrew Cuomo took his children to a gay pride parade, and I certainly wouldn't let my young children see that. The power parade, the succession process underway in North Korea. Long live Kim Jong-un, they shout. His father, Kim Jong-il, the current ruler of this secretive state visibly ailing. The Obama administration lifted the ban on drilling imposed after the BP blowout almost six months ago. And it is a story that has totally gripped the entire world. Never have the Fenny Man been underground for so long. We've got these critical midterm elections coming up. You're just what jealous you that you were on Washington. Saturday Night Live. I'm dying to see who's going to play me, Christine. <laughs> These ideas of my opponent are really extreme. Man up, Harry Reid. So Bill O'Reilly said no one he knows wants to insult Muslims, but that people he said are tired of political correctness. Joel Burns is an openly gay city councilman in Fort Worth, Texas. He actually revealed for the first time his own experience with bullies that he didn't plan to share until the recent rash of teen suicide. I know that life can seem unbearable. But I want you to know that it gets better. Now well, that's what's swimming up mainstream this week, but there were a lot of undercovered stories as well, mainly because of the incredible coverage of the Chilean mine rescue. Now, the big ones that come to mind, a federal judge this week issuing a stay on Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the accused Fort Hood shooter facing victims' families, and a federal district court judge in Florida ruling states challenging the constitutionality of President Obama's health care plan, they can proceed with their lawsuits. But for us here at What the Week, the most undercover story that has ripple effects in so many areas, the beginning of the first human embryonic stem cell trial. I took a camera crew and went lunch crashing to see what you think. Do you support embryonic stem cell research? No. 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 Um, I mean, life begins at conception, so... I mean, anything that stops that would be stopping life from forming, so it's pretty... So dry. as soon as the egg is fertilized, which in this case it is, that's conception, and right. you can't destroy that. You can't right. use it for anything, I should say use it for anything but uh, uh, to create a life. It's just an egg. It's a fertilized egg. Well, so it's not actually alive yet. Not alive. It don't have a heartbeat, does it? No, it's just a, a really a zygote. It's just a, a tiny cell. But, I see nothing wrong with it if you're trying to help But potentially it's alive. It could be. If it, was, if it was put into a womb, it would grow into a life. And that's the debate. I say go for it. I mean, if it's going to cure or help cure diseases, then, then we've got to, we've got to, to do it. I mean, I, I mean it, it would just only help to me. On a religious standpoint, life begins at creation, and taking something like that is considered a life. So to you, the fertilized egg, whether it's in a womb or in a Petri dish, is a fertilized egg. That is life, and that you cannot life. destroy that. Yes. The way I look at it is life in general for me, because I've got three kids, is so important. And to look at stem cell research on how that's going to help, sort of help prolong life and help people in certain situations, uh, I'm all for that. I honestly to make the opinions about it, I have to have a little more research and uh, news to go both ways and understand it more. I think one of the things is um, having ignorance to a lot of things that people just come up with their own opinions without really knowing the full story. So you got to know everything before you make a decision. 
Yeah, great point. You do have to know everything before making a decision on something as complicated and controversial as stem cell research. So give me 60 seconds to catch you up on what stem cells are and why this debate is so heated. Stem cells are your body's master cells. Every other cell in your body stems from them, hence the name. Why is that important? because there are cells in your body that don't normally get replaced. If they get sick or die, you could be out of luck. But scientists believe that stem cells could be used to replace them, leading to cures for conditions as devastating as Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injuries, strokes, burns, heart disease, diabetes, and so on. Sounds great, right? Well, here's where it gets complicated. There are two types of stem cells, embryonic and adult. Adult stem cells are less flexible than embryonic stem cells, but embryonic stem cells, however, can become anything and hold more potential. Unfortunately, they can only be found in a fertilized human egg or embryo, and that embryo is destroyed in the process. Many see that as the destruction of a potential human life, and they want embryonic stem cell research stopped. It's a tough debate. To learn more about it, visit the National Institute of Health website at stemcells.nih.gov. Next, a sickness is spreading through our nation's politicians, and no flu shot will clear it up or stem cell. That won't help either. Our political plague of the week is coming up.